Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev and this is Sequel for Beginners Part 5. What are we going to be looking at today? So in this video we're going to look at how do I order the results. So the results we get when we write a query, sometimes it's extremely beneficial to have them ordered and that's what we're going to be covering today. So I've just jumped over to Sequel. Uh, we're going to open up a new query against the bookshop database and we're going to run a query select all columns from customers so if I just highlight that click F5 to execute as we can see we've only got three customers in this table now what we're going to be looking at today is we want to return the results we see in our results grid down here in a certain order so let's think of one one scenario we might want to do that so let's say we want to order by the first name alphabetically in fact I can see the they already ordered alphabetically so let's not do that let's order by last name alphabetically so I'm gonna write a query uh, we're only gonna return the first name and the last name Um, so we're going to say select first name last name from customers um, we're going to write order space by and we're going to say C last name I'm going to highlight that I'm going to click on this execute button next to our database name up here I'm going to click that and as we can see we've now got that set of results ordered by last name now what if we wanted to well the the order we've got the data at the moment is in ascending order so if you think back to a time you you've worked with Excel you must have done this at some point in your life is when you've had some data on Excel you've clicked on the column you want and you've clicked either the A to Z button at the top or the Z to A button to order that data now if I write my order by query and don't indicate to SQL that I want that in ascending or descending order the default SQL you will use is ascending we could if we wanted put the word put the letters ASC next to it which would indicate to SQL that we do want the results in ascending order if I just run that query again we will see that nothing will change but how about if I wanted it the other way I wanted to order by last name but I wanted it to be in descending order well if we take out of this query here where we've written the, the letters ASC and um, write the letters D E S C for descending and um, we highlight that query and execute it as we can see we've changed the results round what this query is saying to SQL is we want the first name and the last name from the customers table and we want you to return those results ordered by the last name and in descending order if we take that out again SQL will just presume that we want those results in ascending order so if I highlight this query click F5 as we can see the results have gone round the other way I'm just going to run a query against our orders, da uh, orders table as well uh, just to extend what we're covering here a bit further so I'm going to select all columns from orders and um, what we've got here we've got uh, OID uh, which is just an ID for this table uh, OCID that's our customer ID ODATE and OTOTAL let's say we want to know the most recent orders that we've received so we're going to select all in fact let's say we want to know we want to just return the customer IDs so we're just going to return the customer ID from orders so if I just run that we just have the one column uh, I'll just change that back to select all columns for now and run that again so we want to know customer ID in the order that they've placed an order but in descending order so we're going to order by 
O date. And uh, remember we want the most recent first, so we want that in descending order. So we put the letters D E S C for descending. And we only want to return the customer ID. So let's just have a quick look at this data and see if we can work out what results we're expecting. So we've got an order on the 6th of January. That was our most recent by customer ID 2. The earliest was placed on the 20th by customer ID 1. So we're going to execute this query now. And one thing to notice here is that although I'm only returning the customer ID, we are going to be ordering by the date. So we're not going to be returning the date to check but we can order by columns as long as they're in that table and we don't necessarily need to select them. So we're going to highlight this, we're going to click on execute and as we can see we've got the order of customer IDs ordered by ODATE descending. I'm just going to add the ODATE into, back into the query uh, just to prove that the data we are returning is correct. As we can see, we go 6th, 3rd, 2nd, and so on. If I wanted that in ascending order, again, I could take this out and just run that. Or I could put the letters ASC to indicate that we want that in ascending order, and we've got the results the other way round. We're just going to run another query again to select all from orders. And we're going to execute that so we've got our full table of results here. Now if we want to order by customer ID, we can, we'll write that in. Uh, we, we'll have it ascending so we'll just say select all columns from orders, order by customer ID in ascending order and we'll execute that query. As we can see we've got three ones, two twos and a three. So we've got the customer ID actually repeats itself in this table. It appears on multiple rows. As we can see, it looks like what's happened is it's then gone over to the order date and ordered it by that. And what's important to know is that although it appears that way, it's not necessarily correct. So if you're working with a large data that you can't see or you have to use your scroll bar to scroll down hundreds of records. Don't just presume that SQL has automatically done that for you. SQL will only do what you indicate for it to do. Uh, so don't presume it's ever read your mind and carried that out for you. But what we can do is we can say, we want to order by customer ID. We know that customer ID shows in multiple rows in this table. So if that is the case, we can order by more than one column. So we're going to order by customer ID and then we're going to order by O total. Now as we can see at the moment the top query the total is £35 but there's a lower amount to that. So if I run this query I would expect this results grid to change. Ah and there it has. So we can now see that we've got our three customer IDs of one and then it moves over to order it by the total amount. If I'm having a, a comma separated list of in the order by clause and want to order by both descending, I need to indicate that each column I've selected is descending. So if I only chose one and expected the results to be descending it wouldn't know to do that because without that word descending there it will always default to ascending order so if I now execute this query we'll expect the results to re reverse so we've got three on top uh, we've got customer ID at the bottom as we can see our customer ID one is at the bottom and our lowest order total of 20 pounds is at the bottom now you can mix and match, so I could say I want to order by customer ID ascending because I haven't indicated that it will be descending. And then if there are if that customer ID appears in multiple rows, this is what's known as a tiebreaker. So if we've got multiple occurrences of something across the rows, we can put another column in to specify that order. So if I run this query, we're saying to 
to the SQL engine. What we want to do, we're going to take all the all, all the columns from the orders table, and we want you to give us that those results ordered by our customer ID. Now we haven't indicated here that our customer ID should be in descending order, so that will default to ascending. Then once that's done, we want to order those results by total descending. Let's run that query and see what happens. There we go. As we can see, customer ID 1, because we're looking at ascending order, and the total, the highest amount on top, because we're ordering by O total descending. I really hope that's been beneficial to you guys. We've gone over the order by clause today and how that works. Um, that can be beneficial in certain scenarios when you want to know what time things happen. So often in SQL we'll insert data with certain timestamps. So when an action's completed, if we use the example I've gone through today, orders, we want to know the most recent orders or we want to know the earliest orders then order by can be very beneficial for us to use. If you do like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, please do post them below. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to the channel. I've got lots coming over the next couple of months. Thanks for watching.